sorry, back in naturopath. Let's talk about bacteria. Okay, doctors often use this word gram positive or gram negative. This is after the gram test. So the gram test is an old fashioned test where they basically had a purple dye. They could drop it on a, on a, on a, you know, on a slide and they could see that if the cell wall of the bacteria stained a violet color, <clears throat> then it was gram positive because it's stained or gram negative and it didn't. So gram positive bacteria like E. coli, for example, uh, MRSA, that's methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus or, you know, the hospital bug. Um, these types of infections um, basically respond okay to antibiotics. They respond better than gram negative because they've got a more permeable cell membrane. So antibiotics can come in and destroy that cell pretty quick. But the problem in, in, in the gut is not all bacteria are going to really like this kind of approach. The more common antibiotics prescribed now are the broad spectrum. So these take in gram negative and positive. So gram negative, we look into the bacteria, for example, that more affect pneumonia. Okay, so bacterial pneumonia or, or bacteria that, for example, that affect Lyme disease uh, people. So this, uh, these are notoriously hard to treat cases of pneumonia. So you can also get viral pneumonia cases. So doctors often, when in doubt, when a patient comes in with an infection, they'll give a broad spectrum. They'll just, you know, take all the weapons out, put them all on the table, boom. It's a bit like Terminator. Two guns, make a hell of a damage, a lot more damage than a little handgun does, all right? So when you're using broad spectrum, you've basically got all the weapons, you're just blasting everything. So these are the ones that create the most damage when given to patients. Many cases, um, increasing amount of cases now in hospitals now are becoming antibiotic resistant. And doctors are scrambling to find stronger and stronger drugs just like countries looking for bigger bombs and bigger bullets and bigger everything, you know, and it just, it makes you wonder when it will ever stop. All this anti-treatment. Don't you think we should be using pro-treatment instead of anti the whole time? We've got countries at war. We've got doctors at war with patients' digestive systems. It's just all too much. It's going to end up in tears, I'll tell you, and it usually does. So the gram positive and the gram negative, now you, now you know the staining, the staining part, and the non-staining part. <clears throat> so sometimes doctors will take a, specific, a blood sample or they will test the patient first to be more specific. But as I said, in many cases, they'll just give that antibiotic. So now you know, the broad spectrum ones are the ones that can create a lot of problems. Thanks for tuning in.